Hey everybody! So, we're back with a new video. Um, I know on Fridays it seems like I normally talk about a particular video game, but today I decided to not do that. I wanted to do an overall kind of topic because it's still about video games. But this was just something uh, my husband and I have even kind of talking about, um, you know, playing a lot of horror games, especially with like Resident Evil having just come out, and you know, what makes it like, oh, actually, like, scary, or feel more like a survival horror game, like, you know, when you compare even just certain Resident Evil titles to others. And something that I had thought of was something that you see a lot, and it used to just kind of only be in indie games, but now it's jumped a lot into AAA games, but that would be the case of first person. And I want to pose the question, is using first person in a horror game just being used as a crutch? And by that I mean is it like, oh, it's in first person so it's automatically just scary. I'm gonna have to take her collar off because she's gonna come up here like she always does. There. <laughs> and make a ton of noise. But that is the question I would like to pose of, is first person just being used as a crutch? Because it feels like every horror game nowadays is done in first person and people just kind of automatically assume when they're making the game or whatever that that means it's scary. Now, I would like to say that definitely being in first person is scarier and, you know, makes things more intimidating because it feels more like you are puppy literally the one having to deal with everything and it like puts you more in the immersion because you don't see even a different character that's going through it like when you're I'm just gonna use the game I'm playing right now is for example God of War 2017 you know of course you're immersed but you know you're able to separate yourself a little more from Kratos because you see him, he has a voice and well, I mean, okay, I guess there are some that do or don't have a voice, but like you can see Kratos as a person and he has a lot more personality kind of built into him because he is more of this actual character. Whereas in a lot of first person stuff, you see I don't know, it kind of feels like there's maybe not much character development into it. And I feel like it's maybe because they think, oh, if you can't see the person, then you put yourself more as being this character and being the one to have to deal with all the threats that this horror game is throwing at you. So, I mean, and I do understand because, you know, when it does feel like you are the one having to deal with it, that's part of why I can't play horror games myself a lot of the times because it's it's too scary for me when I know I have to deal with it and I have to be actually good at the video game stop Lila in order to take care of the thing so you know it definitely does have an effect but I do wonder if maybe it is turning more into a simply oh it's in first person, so anything I do will be then, like anything I put in the video game, and this developer saying this, anything I put in the game is then automatically scary and it's automatically a good horror game simply because it's in first person. Like, I feel like maybe that kind of is being more of the crutch, and because you don't necessarily need for a game to be in first person, for it to be scary, and for it to feel tense and everything. Like, you don't need that. And I feel like, you know, in some ways people kind of are relying on that more now, that like, if it's not in first person, it's not going to be as scary, or it's not going to be a good horror game. Or I feel like that's what a lot of developers kind of, you know, seem to be leaning more towards. And, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking this, maybe I'm just going too much over it, but because I feel like there's also not even a lot of very good, actually scary, even indie horror games out there. Like, you watch these and they're not actually, like, scary or anything. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe, 
because the scares don't even feel genuine. It was like, it, maybe it kind of feels like, oh, they're thinking that because I put it in first person, that means it's automatically scary. It's automatically a good survival horror game. And then they kind of feel like they maybe don't have to try as much. So I feel like in some ways it kind of is being a bit of a crutch. And I kind of would like to see maybe more horror games either when they are in first person just try a little more like the way Amnesia does or whatever. Because Silent Hill, take the Silent Hill games. They are not first person. They are plenty scary. The Resident Evil games, you know, they're plenty heart pumping, you know, scary stuff. And it's not in first person. So I feel like, you know, it's not bad to make it in first person, but you can't let that be like then a crutch and feel like you don't have to really try as hard because then you feel like, oh, the fact that it's in first person just means it's automatically scary. Like, and that's just not how that works. At least I don't think how that works. I mean, you can play like Skyrim. You play Skyrim in first person, you can go to third person, but you can play that whole game in first person and it's like, it's not meant to be a horror game. So it's not even like first person just automatically means horror game. You get what I'm, you get what I'm saying, kind of? You get, you get my point here? I feel like they're just thinking, if I put it in first person, I don't have to try, it's automatically scary, automatically a horror game. So then they don't really try on the story, or they use really cheap, stupid, dumb jump scares that aren't actually scary. And yeah, okay, you made me jump, but that doesn't mean I was actually scared. You just threw something suddenly on the screen and a random loud noise in my ear. That didn't mean you actually scared me or affected me. It just kind of means you surprised me. And then I recovered really quick because I was like, oh, that was loud. That's just how I feel on this. I want to know your thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Maybe you don't think it's a crutch. Maybe you do. Maybe you think, why are you even talking about this? There's literally no point to talk about this. And you know, maybe... I don't know, let's just, let's just start a conversation about, like, what could help make a good horror game, you know? I feel like, I feel, I, I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts that would make, like, a horror game actually scary? And maybe, you know, it is just the sole idea of being in first person is, you know, for some people, like, that's scary enough, I don't need any other extra stuff. First person means it's scary. Either way. That's gonna wrap up this video for today. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like below. You don't have to, but it helps me know if people are actually enjoying the video when they watch it. I guess Lila didn't like it. I don't know, she's going to sleep. I didn't ask her opinion though, so. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload every Monday and Friday, and then as you saw last Wednesday, I will upload just a random vlog whenever, if I make them, cause I, you know, that's not the main focus of my channel, so I don't make them all the time. But anyway, that is it for this time. I'll see you all in the next video.